Hello. Welcome back to Jamie's Camper. Sorry it's been so long. Loads of stuff going on in my life at the moment. Uh, super busy Christmas. A couple of days off now. Um, just wanted to do a little bit of an update. We went to Ireland in the van. So I want to do a bit of a, just a bit of a tour of the inside. It's Van's not finished as it's an ongoing project. Um, but it's 90% there. Um, done a lot more probably since my last video. In fact, I've done loads more since the last video. Uh, basically, we spent, me and the wife went over to Ireland uh, with our sister's kids and my brother-in-law. And we had a little holiday. So we slept in the van for, I think it was about nine nights, ten nights. And it was just fantastic. Couldn't have gone better. Great holiday. Weather wasn't amazing, but it was okay for that time of year anyway. Uh, the last video I did was showing you how to fit the roof vents in. Uh, I'm going to show you them and that they're all finished now working. Uh, the front one here did actually leak when we were in Ireland camping out. Um, it, there was like a tropical rainstorm come on only for about 20 minutes. We had to run for cover and a little leak appeared. I'll show you just up here by the lights. I don't know if you can see the lights there. It was kind of dripping down here uh, from over here. So let me start. I'll start with the roof vent. Oh, in fact, I won't start with the roof vent. I'll say I hope everyone had a good Christmas. It's New Year's Eve. Um, I'm not drinking. I'm not doing anything tonight. We're just having a, a, a mellow night. Um, we may go down to where I where I live, just outside of Stonehaven. They have something called the Fireballs, uh, which is, uh, I think it's a pagan tradition um, of warding off evil sea spirits so they throw fire into the sea uh so the fishermen have a good catch or something um anyway we, we may go down and video that later just as a an extra bit uh so today's sunday and we just had storm dylan roll by wasn't really that stormy but basically where i'm right on the fringes of like blue sky here and then if you look out to sea you can see that, that there goes the storm uh, very windy, a lot of rain, um, but hopefully that's going to be the new year where there are nice blue sky coming, so, excuse me, just having a cup of coffee, uh, just uh, had the kettle on a minute ago, made a little cup of coffee for myself, um, not a lot been going on, uh, I'm away to have a baby, so we're just waiting on it being born, we've been waiting for like a week now, getting the signs every day, uh, thinking it's coming, and then it doesn't come. Sleepless nights, uh, even though it's not here yet. Uh, other than that, I had a good, great Christmas. Um, was with my family for Christmas. Really funny day, a lot of laughs. Uh, it, was, it was a good day, it was a good day. Uh, but I did miss my wife's family because we normally go to Ireland for, for Christmas and they have a really good Christmas there every year. And it's like the first year I've not been there for maybe five years. So I was a bit, Ugh, it was just, it was okay being home, but it's nice being there because there's, there's a lot of little kids and it's really Christmassy. You see their faces when they get presents and stuff. So it was a little bit sad on both fronts, uh, missing out on that. But anyway, New Year is a way to happen. Hopefully this year is going to be a good year. Um, probably won't get a lot more done to the van because I've got a baby on the way. So there'll be a lot of time taken up with the baby, but I will try and do bits and pieces. So what I'll do is I'll give you a, a quick tour of, uh, oh, I want to say also thanks to all the new subscribers. I seem to have had a flurry of new subscribers all of a sudden. Uh, thanks very much for that, even though I'm not putting videos up. Um, but I'm gonna try, I've got some software on my iPad now, so I should be able to edit it a lot better, make it more fun than me rambling. Um, and there was a few questions now. One of the questions was about the bench seat, that there wasn't a lot of room here for two folk. But I think because I was sitting on the edge of the seat, you didn't really get the, you know, you didn't really get a good view of, uh, of the space that there is. I mean, this is a front seat out of a Sprinter van anyway. So it's made for two people to sit comfortably. That's me comfortable. Obviously my arm's stretched out there, but I mean, uh, me and the wife here, we sit here, no problem. There's the table. Um, if I get up and show you from this angle, I mean, there's, there's loads of room there. There really is a lot of room. Uh, the table isn't huge, but it's all we need. Uh, when we went to Ireland, obviously we took the ferry over. Uh, we had a lovely, uh, night in a lay-by. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite a lay-by. It was more of a seafront, uh, 
and it was looking over a loch, which was really nice. And we had fish and chips here, and there was there was no problem with, with sitting eating there at all. But thanks for the questions anyway. Keep them coming. I appreciate that kind of thing because it spurred me on again to come out and do stuff in the van. And um, okay, let me show you these. Right, I'll turn this light off, and I'll show you these vents. So there's the vent. If you remember from my last video, um, bought just two plain opening vents. So what I did was let's turn it around this way because I blew light. In fact, give us a second. Let me turn off the gadgets in here because lighting's just not. That's better. That's better. Right. So what I did was that's the vent there. A Fiamma 400 by 400. It's that's my last video. That's up. How to install them? Um, as you can see. There I've added a PC fan, and if you look here, that's the switch. So if I switch it on, a little blue light comes on, and it starts barreling around. And honestly, it, it, it probably doesn't extract a lot, but it makes a massive difference. The other thing I did was, if you have a look at the frame, the frame is now a nice gloss white colour. Um, when I got it, it was like that caravan cream color which it just didn't match anything in here so i bought uh some plasti dip which is plastic coated spray paint and i'll tell you it's absolutely fantastic read the instructions do a light spray leave it 10 minutes a light spray keep going keep build the coats up real slow and honestly you would think that uh, that was like factory standard the the paint on there it's really really nice you probably can't see that well but honestly it's such a good gloss no runs, no nothing. Did all the little corners and everything here. So if I open it up, now I've got two of these, one at the front, one at the back. You might just be able to see it raising up there. They're also tinted as well and they go right the way up with a bug screen. There's a, a mesh bug screen here. Um, can't fault them. Excellent. Really good. Obviously the addition of the uh, switch and the fan kind of made it a little bit better. And the daylight's flooding in there. But it, as you can see, even with just that open and hardly any lights on, loads of loads of light coming in. So that was that. I mean, they, like I say, this one leaked um, and I did get some more sealant, which was a lap sealant. That It's uh, American RV lap sealant. Excellent stuff. It's like icing. Um, as soon as you put it on, it kind of, it's self-leveling, so it moulds itself over the top of the gaps. Uh, and basically, it was like a pinhole. The rain was coming in. I did find it, and I thought, well, I'll just put the lap sealant all the way around. There's no point just fixing one bit. Okay, so that's that. Another little addition here uh, is uh, a little fridge. Now, it doesn't have a light in it. I'm actually plugged into shore power at the moment. Uh, I've got the van all wired up, the 240, got it plugged in. Uh... Hmm, strange. Why has that gone off? Just two seconds. I've got a little heater here, which was burning, and it seems to have gone off. It may have tripped everything, because I've I've not put it on before, so it may have tripped the shore power. Yeah, I think it has. Anyway, forget that. Okay, so I'll show you this fridge. Nice little fridge. Um, it's like a probably what a student would use it's, it's actually got a lock on it as well you see down the bottom there there's a, a little plate it's got a tiny wee ice tray box here uh, and it works really well you can make ice in it no problem it's 240 volts I like I say this is all plugged into the into shore power at the moment um, the locks down here so you can lock it stop it flying open bargain another eBay find uh, I think it was 90 pounds for that which seems a lot but for keeping beer cold, I don't think there's any price. So uh, that, that was an addition I got just before we went away. Let me put some lights back on here. Dark. That's better. Um, also the the toilet. Well, I'll just show you the living, the living area. So I've got a nice mat down as well. It's like one of those heavy duty crud catching mats. Totally invaluable when you're living in a small space. Y you have to have that because especially on a campsite, the grass coming in and out. Um, we did have steps coming up into the van and they kind of had a matte surface on them. So they took a lot of the rubbish off. Uh, I'll just show you there and around here. Uh, I've got a jacket hanging there and some little bits and pieces. Uh, so now the kitchen area, which is this bit here. And there's that heater I was on about. Mm, I, I must have tripped the power. It's probably too much for my shed to, to cope with. Uh, anyway, so I've got my little gas stove. Brilliant. We did all the cooking kind of outside. I've got an awning as well, but I'm going to have to show you that in, a, in another video because that's 
you've got to set it all up and everything. But again, the awning was fantastic. Um, little cooker. We cooked all outside so there was no smells in the van because I was worried about the bedroom bit getting smelly. So now I've got my, my sink over here. Um, kettle I've just thrown in there for now because it was a bit hot. Tap in the water, that's all drained down for the winter now. Um, I don't know if you've seen the last kind of videos I've got. Let me just move this heater out of the way. In fact, I don't know why I've got it in here because it's not working. If I show you in here, now I've showed you in here before, but you maybe didn't get a great view of it the last time. So the blue one is, where are we? Blue one is the fresh water. And then that goes up into a filter. You might be able to just see it green and white in the corner there. And then obviously the black one's grey water. Um, in fact, if I open up the toilet door, a bit more light in. There we are, it's a bit better. So that really, that was all we needed for... The thing is, because they're so small, we had to fill them every day and empty them every day. But if you're not too fussed about actually doing stuff on, on a campsite, like site life kind of thing, then there shouldn't really be a problem. I maybe could have gone bigger, but for all the times we're going to use it, I mean, for cleaning out cups and things... We only needed a wee bit of water anyway. Uh, you, you, you can't. Uh, the only thing is you can't leave the tap running while you're washing dishes because um, it just drains too quickly, basically. Uh, the toilet area. Now I've got, oh yeah, let's go actually go in the toilet. So I've got a mirror there. See the old iPhone. Um, put up some hooks as well. It kind of doubles up as storage for like jackets and things. Uh, another, another good idea I thought as well. Um, and then the toilet. Just a little porta potty. Where are we? Um, absolutely ideal. Uh, the wife was well pleased with it. Doesn't look like a lot of room in there, but she found it okay. Um, door gives you the privacy. Shuts up nicely. Haven't done anything with the shower uh, of yet, uh, just because I've, things are on hold for a, for a while. Uh, bedroom area. Now this this was the the creme de la creme because if I, if we hadn't had a six foot double bed it probably would have been a nightmare i haven't got any pillows at the back yet that those are those fancy cushions i showed you once before um i need to finish off the, that back bit as well what i'll do is i'll jump up on the bed in a second let me just move this out of the way basically if we hadn't had that double bed i think camping out would have been miserable um the bed was luxury it's a spare bedroom mattress but it was so comfortable oh i bought a topper for it as well before he went away just to give us that extra support um let me jump up into it. Ooh. So what, what I had to do up here... Ah, no. ah there's, lo there's loads of room. I'm not even halfway on. I'll show you. Show you back that way. Feet are dangling off the bed. Full six foot double bed. You can lie down in here. No problem. Full stretch. Really love it. What I had to do though was add this little extra light. Now the reason I had to do that was these lights here. That one there. That one there, that one, there's two more behind me. They are on the switch panel at the front. So if you wanted to switch them off at night, obviously you had to go and get down out of bed and do it. And I thought, nah. So this is a similar style to the, the one, the big one I've got by the kitchen area. Uh, can't rate these lights enough, really good. So that's just an on off switch directly wired in and makes all the difference. You can switch those lights off down there come up here and then switch it's which within hands reach for bedtime kind of thing now if we look up there there's my other roof light and fan Let's see if the switch is still working yes it is everything looking good yeah perfect and i tell you that was there's a little beastie look caught in the net um that was really good because you could just crank it open a wee bit at night and you just you just got a bit of fresh air which made all the difference so i'm, I'm pleased with it it's a good bit to go yet. Let's have a look around this way. So the walls have changed. Uh, that's a bag of toys we won at the fair, which was great. Uh, the walls I changed to like a, a a soft kind of rubber. Not even rubber. It's like soft foam. Um, just because I didn't like the, the, the wall that was there. Padding. Uh, it doesn't look like I've got headroom, but I'm on my knees at the moment. But let me show you. So if I was in bed, I can sit up in bed, no problem. Still got loads of room. That's me sitting up in bed. So, yeah, really, really pleased with it. Um, that's about it, guys. Like I say, just anticipating the birth of my first child, which is very exciting. Can't wait. 
Um, it's obviously going to be pretty crazy. Probably won't see much more van videos for a minute or two, but I'll be doing other stuff as well. So, uh, like I say, thanks for all the new subscribers. Let me get down. See, this is why you need the stairs, because it's just that bit higher when I, when I adapted it. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, that's made my day. A uh, good start to the new year. Um, like I say, I ho hope you all have a happy new year. And I hope you all had a good Christmas. And I'm going to... Just bear with me. I'm going to put up as many videos as I can. But it could be quite tricky now. Obviously with a new baby and everything. But uh, like I say, thanks again everyone. Hope you all have a great New Year's Eve. And get really drunk. Because this is the first time I won't be drinking on New Year's Eve for the... I don't know how long, uh, and I hope you all have a good new year. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.